Sanford, 16-17. They want that title. They're hungry for it. And it's right here, center stage, seconds away from the draft. We're going to game number three. And again, this is what I want to see because he has to be the one to dictate the fight. He has to go in, but man, oh man, because you're just trying to distract. You're letting everyone else do the damage. We'll see how fast Echo can go and how Blacklist answers back. This is game three. This is for the M4 World Championships. This is the first Gushin pick in M4 too, right? Fun yep. fact. Hey. Right during the break, when it was uh, the analyst segment, me and Leo, we were talking about it. We were like, hey, Echo in game three. They got a 2-0 lead. What are they supposed to do? Don't experiment too much in the draft. But here they are, experimenting in the draft again. In the world, at the world stage. But dude, this is insane. It's Gushin's debut. I fully trust Coach Trev and Coach Tic Tac and Echo, all right? They're, they're putting on yeah. a show for us. No, I mean, like, it's an experiment in our eyes. Yes. They probably True. trained this for quite a while because, sure. again, looking at the blacklist, look at what happened in game number one. Look at what happened in game number two. They kind of just forget about Wise. They forget about Oh My Venus. And, in a sense, they forget about Edward as well. As long as you get Oheb and Haji, it's all right. You you probably don't even mind if Sanji dies, if you can get both Haji as well as, Ed, uh, as, well as Oheb. So, this is fine. And, again, looking at Edward, I'm still looking at him to kind of carry because what he has to do is to start a fight, collect everyone together. That's it. Uh huh. And they're going to be able to do that, but at the midway point. Because again, you're also waiting for Oheb. You're waiting for this carry to hit a power spike because it's a tough way playing a carry and throw Brody. It's very tough. The laning here, the matchup is not good for carry at all, right? You're going to be zoned away from your mini waves constantly. You need your Lolita or your Roma, your juggler to help out to break that freeze and right now you're seeing that, right? Oheb is already getting zoned out of his own lane. The Brody has so much to say and this is where Echo have been utilizing Benny Kinsey's stellar M4 performance. They're always playing around the gold lane but now it's a turtle. Oh and also the XP lane, look at this. Sanford and Sanji pressuring Haji and Edward. Lord, oh, turtle very low. Wow, Carl TZ steals it away from Blacklist International like it's nothing. Just walks up like a Chad and uses the retribution. I just gotta say, because we didn't really see, because we're looking at the turtle, I wanna talk about the micromanagement of the wave because Sanji he sacrificed his own wave. And look at his Yaoi engages. Fine charge, put in the pressure fly from Sanji. Now to the Mount Blast, gonna be popped in here, but Yaoi's gonna be able to get away from that one. Not for long as Wise is able to find the kill back. A rover traded in for the mid laner. Still, Echo takes the trade. Love what you were saying. No, I'm just saying because during that fight, Yaoi didn't even dare to go close to the turtle because he was already at level 3. Sanji with the cushion went to the EXP lane, absorbed some of that minions, while Yaoi secured the entire minion wave in mid, allowed him to get level 4. And we just saw the engagement there, but I want to talk about how Gary's having a difficult, uh, difficult time. It's going to be more difficult now that Yaoi already has the Divine Judgment, so Oheb, he had a bad time before, it's going to get worse. Oh, and that's why I think... King Wise and Queen V are going ahead alongside Haji. So again, they're, they're they're leaving Agent Zero here to make the best of this dead lane against Sanford's Lapu Lapu. We're about 30 seconds and a quarter away from a turtle. Once more, Echo got that handily. There's a lot of burst coming in from the Orcas, giving them a 300, 400 gold lead. And in terms of items, is that enough? Oh, there's a pull! That's the Divine Judgment, and that's all the damage placed on. Benny not going to use the Torn Apart memory just yet. That was a flicker burn in by Venus, and that's a W that Echo wants to take, those small dubs. Yeah, and again, as we said, you're already setting up your own playstyle. Get the level 4 as quickly as possible. Sure, it was slightly delayed because they went for something in mid, but now you can see they're putting a lot of pressure onto Blacklist International. This is what they've been doing. They're making sure that Blacklist can't stay long in their own lanes. They can't stay long in front of the turrets because they're setting things up. Yaoi is still here. Even if he doesn't go in, just the, 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 the mindset of I could get engaged is very 
it's terrifying. Oh, Black Dragon form already. Break it out. It's on to Carl TZ now. And as you can see, Carl TZ is going to be targeting down, but a lot of damage. That's going to be his response to fight a little bit more time, but he will be slain. Sandy finding Venus. Hanji going to be the target right now. Sandy jumps into the Petrify as well. That's a double kill for Nagushin at M4. Sanford knocked out by Fury's side. Yeah, we're going to be able to dodge away right there for the skill shot from Edward, but Edward's going to be targeted down now. Sanji looking for it, gets it, and it's a triple kill. Unofficial, but still a triple kill for Nagushin. That's making its debut on the world stage in the Grand Finals. And this propels Echo about a thousand gold ahead, and it's just back to business. Carl DZ making quick work on this turtle. Honestly, in that team fight as well, Oh My Venus had a very good shot of using the Numinum Blast, but then gets cancelled by Yaoi, pulling him to the side, saying, no, 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 my team can handle itself. And Oh My Venus engages off Yaoi, and wow. Yaoi escapes that. Using the flicker, but again, it's all all right, because Echo, there in control even in the team fight they're micromanaging everyone's skills everyone's ults to make sure that they don't get punished to make sure that the orcas are always going to be the one getting those kills and because of that that pressure in the bottom lane and the relative absence of blacklist from those responses in the bottom after the turtle take they got pushed the bottom oh it's fight up top haji can be stunned up has it for the air strike haji can be taken low taken down shoved down by haji but haji falls as well stand for Oh my God. With the bravest players, Justin Rickers forward. He knows exactly what he was doing. He finds two on the board. Not even the observers can believe it. It's what? Owen Ham up top for the House of Highlights. And Sanford just as quickly rotates down bottom. Why is not done with him? They're still going. The torn apart memory slays wise as they pick up the tier one in the gold lane. 3,000 gold lead. Conversion through the roof for Echo here. They're taking trades. They're taking bodies, taking turrets. Now 30 seconds away from the turret. Where does Blacklist find an angle for a comeback? Okay, now we're looking on my Venus. is going to get punished. Now you see him. Now you tell two members disappearing from out of nowhere. Oh, we have to deal with the damage. All the Sanford is still going to be able to get away for a bit. Shut down, picked up. And Blacklist International strike back. So what I saw just now, and I kind of think of the same thing. Blacklist, they gotta stay inside the jungle of Echo because they need to apply pressure and they need vision. Now they don't have both because, again, we talked about it before the game even starts. How Echo is playing. They're pushing one lane, trying to get two turrets, and then they go for that. Oh, Hem gets caught. Uh oh, here. Carl Tz gonna be able to find that. Oh, Hem falling in the gold lane. Carl Tz backing off. Edward still wants to commit with a bunch of petrify. The Fury's dive. Now Sanford on the back line. Getting the stun down, but not going to be able to find it just yet. Haji with the wings by wings. The flicker out. Benny going to be caught here. Stunned up and taken down. Sanford jumping in again. Why still? Sanking, soaking all the damage in. That's going to be Saji though. Comes in out of nowhere. Coming in again onto Venus. Not going to be able to find it just yet. Why still able to get out for a bit with the shield unity? And he gets to safety. It's a two for one in favor of Blacklist. All right, so there's a clap back. Blacklist, given that Echo had to split up their priorities. Turtle says Carl DZ, no fight, they say. And they're still going. Sanford again. Jumps in, finds Haji. Oh, have trying to melt him down, but it's not going to be enough as he is actually able to just get the damage out. Oh, have now. Did we target it down so, so low? He flickered out of there, but he's still going to be caught. Yeah, we find the right judgment. No commitment just yet. Echo decide to pull back. All right, touche. Touche. We pull a treaties for now. Yep. Eight minutes in. Three K ahead, Echo. What's the item game looking like? The item game is huh. just showing Sanford. He only has the Bloodless Axe as a damage item and the Dominus Eyes just for armor. But again, looking at that, Sanford really should have died. But because Dominus Eyes now lowers the attack speed of your opponent, so Oheb doesn't have maximum attack speed at that point, and he just out heals Oheb. Oh man, you can see the carry is just so behind. Corrosion Staff, Golden Staff, he needs that with the nature, but he also needs an Athena at this point, right? There's so much damage output that Echo can deal, and Blacklist are just not ready for that kind of dive. Yep, uh, it looks like Echo evolved their strategy from game two, when it's not the amount of damage you have, it's where you put it, given the... Uh 
skill shots that Echo have to get in to be able to get these kills. Now 13 to 6. It just shows that they are playing off of momentum. Oh, look at this. Oh, have it's going to be stunned up. It's going to be taken down. Oh, oh. memory flicker. Now by Benny QT is wise and looking to re engage with Edward as well. That's a stun coming in. Benny's still able to escape and he faced the entire team. The Metro Fire and the Furious Knife connecting on a Benny QT. And now he jumps in. Benny's still alive. Go easy to Highlights and it's just all oh, ideas left. It's as real lord as it gets for Echo. Barreling on forward, 5k ahead. The fell. How does Blacklist come back? Blacklist did everything right. That was not a mistake. Like, they managed to get many beauty, many beauty dashes away. He still got caught. And Blacklist, they still lost. Yaoi was able to pull Edward away. Like, again, it's not that Blacklist. They did the engage wrong. They did everything right. And it still wasn't enough. That's very discouraging. This breaks the whole concept of the metagame that is a box-centric. And it's all about geometry because Echo aren't playing with any clear lines here. They're playing from a point-to-point -point basis, right? Yaoi point and click, Sanji point and click, Benny point and click. Carl is the only one really setting up where Echo can fight and they always find the right places. I honestly don't understand how Sanji keeps you hitting the hits as well. But right now, Blacklist fights back. Oh, they find a kill onto the jungler. Carl TZ gonna fall. Yaoi looking for a re-engage as Lord marches down in the bottom lane. Sanji picking up the tier two in the mid lane. Blacklist International micromanaging the waves properly, getting it down. Still, 7,000 goalie for Echo. Wise opening up the map. Gets the shield unit down, but will be caught on the by judgment. Rina's coming in, helping his jungler. Now as many QT is gonna be able to get the oh! fight down. That's gonna be Sanji who finds the unstoppable in the back line from Sanford as well. The San San duo on the back line. Wise gonna be targeted down. Sanji not able to connect just yet. You held your breath there. Edward now running away. Yahweh still fishing the damage out of Sanford comes in again. Oh. With the follow-up to finish him off. That sword spike was about an inch away from Wise. If Sanji had it hit, it would have been over for King Wise. But that doesn't change the fact that this Lord, Luminous Lord, coming up in about a minute and change, should be lethal. Oh my Venus drops, and the Blast is still going. That's giving the Feather Air Strike onto Yaoi, still gonna be able to get out. A Venus Shield popped in with Immortality as well. The Zone of Power Memory will be thrown out. Sanford falling to the hands of Oheb, as he is able to find that kill, but it's just a one for one Echo decides to back off, base turret still up, except that top side. So in the defense, Blacklist had their priorities split up, take down members of Echo, clear the waves, something's gotta give. That's an inhibitor up top, that's permanent damage. Yeah, right now, Echo, they've already set up their checkmate because the Lord is gonna come up. That is going to be something that Blacklist have to contest. Now the question is, can they even contest it? And LaFell, to add to that, it's in the long lane. It's in the opposite lane that Lord is in. It's, it's very clear, it's inevitable that Benny's gonna try to do the same thing. I mean, we talked about this. This is how they play. They set up the map to their own favor to make sure they have multiple ways to actually win the game. They can win through a team fight. They can win through getting Oheb, through getting uh, Haji, or just is going straight, beeline to the king, dropping down the base itself. So this is beautiful coming in from Echo. It's more or less the same thing, but executed in a different way. They're playing with inevitability. Echo have played to a brilliant situation right now. They're 7k ahead. They're making easy work of this lord. And Wise checking in. V pulls the conceal. They committed a lot of resources here. That's gonna not blast, not finding anyone. Yaoi looking for the divine judgment. Able to find Wise as they try to burst down the lord. Going to be secure right now. That's gonna be the front to play Sanji to buy a little bit more time again. Benji! Oh, yeah. Got it! With the flicker again to find the torn apart memory! Yaoi's looking for more. That's gonna be the petrify and the furious knife used up. Sanford jumping in with Brave Spider. Oh my god! Sandford! Benny! Sandy! Call DZ Yowie! They keep styling on Blacklist! That's four for one! Lord as well going over to Echo. They're gonna push bottom lane and they are going to threaten the game and they catch Oheb! Again under the base. Oheb very low. It's match point for Echo! <laughs> The world champions have never been pushed to the limit, not like this. Echo Express are pumped.